Hello everyone, welcome to Savvy Looks, where I like to take outdated or damaged secondhand furniture and give it a whole new life. This week I'm working on this cute secretary desk that I found at the dumpster for free. The veneer was completely coming off of the sides and the front of the drawer. There was a big gap between the leg and the side, which made the whole desk pretty wobbly. I could tell the top had beautiful wood grain, but the finish was completely flaking off and even chunks of the veneer were sort of coming apart. But I could tell that this piece was gonna be really cute once it was done. I started by taking off all of the hardware, then I cleaned the whole thing really well with a degreasing cleaner, then I rinsed off all of the soap residue with water. The veneer on the front of the drawers and both of the sides was completely coming off. There was no way that I could secure it back down. It really just needed to go. So I used a metal spatula and a hammer and took all of the veneer off. I could tell that the wood grain on the top of this piece was gonna be beautiful. It was just covered in this really flaky, yellowy finish. It just did not look its best. So I started sanding with my three x four electric rice surf prep sander and found the most beautiful wood grain underneath. After that, I went back to the sides in the drawer. They still had all of the glue residue from where the veneer had been glued to the wood. So I just used oven cleaner to basically soften up all of the glue so that I could scrape off all of the residue. After removing the veneer, the front of the drawer was very textured. The wood was very dinged up and the wood grain was really deep. I didn't really want that look, so I mixed some old hardening wood filler with water to create a really thin consistency that I then painted with a brush onto the entire drawer front. Once it was dry, I used my surf prep sander again to sand back all of the wood filler.
To fix the gap that was causing this one leg to be a bit wobbly, I squirted a bunch of wood glue into the gap and I used a piece of tape to stop it from dripping and let it dry. Next, I used Bondo, which is a really heavy duty, fast drying two part wood filler to fill in all of the gaps around the rest of the piece. Once it was dry, I sanded it all off along with scuff sanding the rest of the piece for better adhesion with my paint. I used paintable caulking to fill in all the seams. I decided that I didn't want to paint the inside at all except for the sides of the inside because there was some major veneer damage happening, but the rest of the inside was in beautiful condition. I just freshened it up with some Howard's Feed and Wax to make it look really nice. Some of the scratches that were there were completely covered up as soon as I used Feed and Wax. On this desk, there were areas where I'd wood filled, areas where I'd scuff sanded, areas where I'd completely gone through the finish, and all kinds of different wood types. So I just decided to take the safe approach and prime the entire thing with my favorite Zinsser Bin Shellac based primer to help even out all of the different textures.
After lightly sanding to smooth out any roller texture, I wiped back all of the dust and I was ready to paint using the color ink by Waverly Chalk Paint. This is Walmart's brand of chalk paint and this color is a deep dark black and I have to say, this is the best coverage paint I have ever used. I painted it on using my favorite Palm Pro paintbrush by Zebra and it gave such a smooth finish. I do also like to have a spray bottle of water on hand while I do this. It just helps thin out the paint wherever needed to help stretch the paint farther and give a really nice smooth look. To protect my new painted finish, I top coated with Varathane Satin Top Coat. I always like to mix a little bit of my paint color into the top coat whenever I'm top coating over a dark color. This just helps avoid a cloudy or streaky finish. I top coated first with my Zebra Fan Brush and I also switched and part of the time used a foam brush. I was a little bit worried about the paint chipping so I did a total of about five to seven coats of top coat depending on the higher traffic areas. For most projects, you do not need to use as many coats of top coat, but for this one, I decided that that was the best option. I was having this problem where whenever I opened the desk, it would rub against the bottom and chip it, so I used a little bit of hot glue so that it would create this little bumper so that it wouldn't chip anymore. I put all of the hardware into a container, let it soak in vinegar, which revealed this beautiful gold brass look underneath. I wanted this beautiful, almost burled wood wood grain to be the focal point of this desk so I decided to stain it with a slightly darker stain that I thought complemented the black, but really freshened up the wood so it looked a little bit less dry. After that, I sealed it all up with some more feed and wax. Okay, let's take one more look at the before of this piece right after I found it outside the dumpster. And here the desk is now. I hope you enjoyed this project. I'm really happy with how this guy turned out. If you liked this video, please subscribe here on YouTube and come follow me on Instagram at Savvy.Looks to see some more furniture flipping content along with my behind the scenes. Thank you so much for watching and have a great week. Mm -hmm.